So here we are the day after the Derby Jefferson County Fair 2024 it was July 20th yesterday that we ran it and that is indeed a winner a first place in the stock windshield the Accord did great as I walk around you'll see she is half the car uh, it used to be but uh, <laughs> up front is untouched uh, it's a big pit at Jefferson County Fair, just uh, past Brookville, PA, if you've never been there. And usually, the last two years I've ran there, the stock windshield class is what Derby Dog calls it, but the stock class, we had 24, and I believe it was 26 the year before. So a ton of cars. The pit was just packed. This year, for whatever reason, there was nine of us. So it is a big track, and it had a lot of room to move. So... A couple times I had some, uh, Camry was there, uh, 10, number 10. I can't remember his name. I talked to him a little bit. Seemed like a real nice guy. Should have, should have got his name, but I was busy throwing this one together last minute in the pits. A couple things, including filling up the fuel, make sure I had enough gas. But, uh, he a couple times went at a big run from across the track and I met him and the uh, rear end again, she was rusty and she bent in and you can see how the <laughs> rear axles, Get under a little here you can see again the stock tank is still in it we drained it out so here's kind of the housing that holds that tank and you can see how it's bent in and under so these uh, control arms of sort i'm not really sure what those are called again my lingo knowledge is poor but you can see how it's bent forward so the wheel and stuff like this is kind of like this both of them uh pretty compact just bent the trunk up real quick before the derby uh, hood came up a little bit, but they seem to do that, uh, how I do it at least. Uh, but inside, to show you, <laughs> ooh -wee, you can see we have some things to clean up. So, a lot of fun and a good run. And uh, a couple other things I wanted to mention. I had to stop there real quick, but the rear end here you can see, I uh, cannot believe how it broke. <laughs> You can see it was splitting because that tank's hard in there. So not only was that bending, but it was pushing on this. And my derby tank, you can see at the end of the derby, if you watch the footage, I uh, at the end of the derby with that, again, I got a, I think a pretty good weld on a caravan bumper. That baby's hard. I should have been instead of rear end because it wasn't this bad. It was probably about like here. Uh, I should have been nosed into the one guy's wheel and then backed up and nosed into the other guy's wheel. Um, they didn't refire, kind of fortunately, because you can see how I hit with the rear end so hard on both of them, and it was already crumpled in that it pushed all the way to and almost pinched part of my uh, return or my overflow there, the line, the one line. Uh, or no, I'm sorry, that is my return. My overflow is on the other side of it. And you can see how the rear end, I mean, she was rusty, and she is indeed uh, half the car, maybe a third of the less half the car as it was. And again, you can see up front completely clean. Nothing to look at under the hood. Uh, as I pressed on a guy once and uh, had a wheel shot opportunity with the nose. Tried to uh, do a little bit of damage on the camera. It was in there. He had a good run and uh, I hit him fairly well. He refired and took off before I could get a really hard hit on him. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think I got a pretty good weld. So we believe she has another good run in her. Uh, we're going to try... Uh, make a little video on it probably here, but uh, we're going to try to pull the rear end back a little bit and uh, possibly weld at least a little bit. Same thing, I'll try to pull that uh, kind of where the, the floor goes to. Come over here and look. So try to pull the wheels back first. That shouldn't be an issue. And then get in front of here. I'm going to unbolt and move my tank forward, but try to pull this as well so that uh, it's a little bit more stable back here and do some touch-up welds of some kind there. Again, I'm not great at welding, but should be able to at least do something. Uh, but we'll move the tank. I cannot believe how, I didn't think it would be close to it. You can see how it pressed right up to it. Uh, but we'll move the tank all the way up here, probably sideways, uh, right by my battery tank. So it'll be, you know, completely inside of me. That's at least the plan. So everything works, as I said, nothing, uh, Nothing was broke or even damaged at all. Again, up front, I didn't take any hits. It's a big track. You know, as many cars, you're able to kind of protect yourself. Just got to be smart and kind of have your head in a swivel. So, again, Jefferson County Fair, uh, 2004 Honda Accord. 
again shout out to my oldest son Hudson our paint design we threw together last minute I thought it looked kind of cool the guy was talking about it looking like Titanic I'm like what I mean I guess there's a ship sinking though that looks like Titanic I guess being attacked by a cruiser or a battleship if you want to say but uh yeah shout out to everyone that uh helped me with uh, Josh's car this car is able to get in last minute uh, a couple things coming together with the fuel and everything but good run fun time and a winner so we're gonna look her over see if we can uh, pull that rear end back and hopefully have another good run in her